I think to... I think your student will appreciate your wise words very much. Next, <laughs> Benoit wakes <laughs> from the dirty floor in which he sleeps on, as a rat gnaws at the feather on his cap. You're up early today. You can tell that it's almost noon. It's almost noon. Um, roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, that wasn't very helpful, but... <laughs> the that. bruises on your ribs from last night's fight cause you to vomit directly onto the rat that scurries away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my hat. My lapel. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Yeah. It is while you are puking is anyone nearby? that I'm going to let you... Can you're you? going to roll perception with disadvantage. Can someone hand me a drink? No one's home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what was it? Perception? Perception with disadvantage. Over your vomit... You are unable to detect anything out of the ordinary, except for the shadow that now obscures the window behind you. You turn around in a panic to see a familiar face staring down at you. The Black Fang extends his hand. Hey, Black Fang, how's the guy? I high five it. You're muted, whatever you just said. Sorry, uh, you look like you've had quite a night. That I have. What could, how could you tell? <laughs> well, you just kind of vomited onto a rat. That was my first clue. I did what? Uh, you know, it, it's okay. Why don't we, why don't we get up? We, we got work to do. Okay. All right. Do you have a drink? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. What? Let's go get one. I like that idea. Oh, Alright. Let's do it. Oh, oh God. Oh. No, are you... Are you gonna be okay? I'm getting up. <laughs> My ribs really hurt. <laughs> I think we're You're out broken. of breath already. Let me just do some lay hands on myself. I don't want to do lay hands on myself. Alright. <clears throat> Uh, you seem to mend the bruises just a little bit. Enough to make the nausea stop. And maybe enough room for a shot or two. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You know a local place. One that often sees you for breakfast around 4 p.m. That you offer up to the Black Fang. Hey, uh, can we go to the, uh, the... To go to guild. Kind of feeling. Go to guild. Let's do it. All right. Head off. Okay. While you are on the way there, you can catch up in chat, or you can wait till we come back around. What have you been up to, Black uh, Fang? Uh. You know, I've been doing jobs here and there, you know, meeting up with some old, old friends. Um, I'm in town because I have some information that uh, I believe you were, um, I, I knew you were in town, so that's why I came to find you. I heard that oh, yeah, from yeah, some contacts you. that you've been in some, uh, some uh, fighting rings. Yeah, that's right. That's how I make my, my, my dime. Not all of us can be a swanker like you, you know? Hey, you know, we... We, we each have our niche, you know? Yeah. You ever uh, heard that I was living with Gaffle? Yeah, Scaffle. I was... The fucking uh, boot-licking Gaffle. How's he doing? Is he okay? He's doing all right. He's been mute for a little while, but I'm sure he's, uh, he'll, be, he'll come around eventually. I think... 
I don't know. I think we need to put the team back together, you know? I've missed the old escapades that we used to do. I mean, despite, you know, several of our members being horrific criminals, I think we had a good time, you know, back in the day. You're saying you want to put a team together? That is exactly what I'm saying. Son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's get that, those drinks then. Uh, yeah, you're paying. You're paying, big job man. All right, I, <laughs> I guess I'm paying. Uh. Oh yeah, um, we can go through everybody's belongings in a little bit. It's safe to say your money has obviously fluctuated, um, but. As something that you can do in the meantime, whenever anyone else is talking or whatever, is just go through, like, the treasure and inventory items that you have. Kind of take stock of the things you would have gotten rid of over time. Or, or if, something it's, if something is valuable you think you might have sold, you can send me a message and I'll give you, a, I'll appraise it and give you money. So just everybody go through your inventory when you have a chance. Hmm. Okay. We cut over to the belly of a ship. Vanzo, in the midst of one of your concentration activities, where you try to uh, summon the willpower to close your eyelids, um, <laughs> <laughs> the trap door flips open right above you. And... <clears throat> A thug is escorting in a limp, unconscious body down to the bottom deck next to you. As they chain him up across from you, though there's hardly any light, you can just barely make out an orcish face with mutton chops. It's... It's Wasgrub. Hey! Hey! Shut up! The thug sort of kicks in your general direction. Uh, but any kicks towards your legs generally result in them limply just sort of floating aside, causing you uh. no damage. The thug spits on you and returns up, opening the hatch again so you can see a flash of your old acquaintance's face before it slams shut. Hey! Wasgrub begins to stir. Step out of it! Oh, where am I? Oh, oh. Kind of You're in a ship. You. Oh, I'm in a ship. You're in Why Captain in Half Haunch's ship? ship. Oh, okay. What How'd you get here? I don't know. I was I was beating up an old man, and everyone in the in the crowd loved me, and here I am. So that's what you've been up to? I was fishing. I was a fisherman. And then I beat up an old man. And now I'm here. Oh. He tried to I feel like... scam me. Oh. I feel like I this is the first time the we've really fish. talked. I got, the I got the best fish in the land and... Yo, whatever, whatever. Why are you... What the pirate's you... like for me now. I you guess. remember me, right? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Mario, roll an intelligence saving throw. Oh, that's not a... Intelligence saving throw. As I was talking, as I was talking to him, I was like, he doesn't know who I am. You just kind of remember him as someone you worked with in Belarask. <coughs> you're what? You're that Muppet guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. you kind of just walked up to us that one day. Hey, you know, that's what I do, huh? That's, uh, that's how I got here, I guess. I just... so you got here because you beat up an old man. Oh, yeah, you're right. Are well, you, you, know, are you, you all right? You lose some. I don't... One too many hits to the head, you got an orc brain that's not as big as the size of a pea. You know, you know how it goes. I mean, hey, look at my head. I'm doing all right with my brain. Sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, what are we, what are we doing here? How do I? You are chained up. Oh no. I am chained. Uh. Can I try and break free from the chains? 
or are they like those cuffs? I can break those securely fa uh, Securely and fastened. Could I, since I have Muppet arms, could I kind of just slip out? <laughs> um. Can I try to like do something like that, or like, cause like, you know, my hands are a little like, I can just kind of, you know. Well, that would kinda... be easy, except they tied oh. up your felt arms into a knot around oh. one of the handcuffs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They thought of Ugh. everything. Now, once they discovered how limp uh, your body generally was, uh, they sort of had a field day. Fuck. Well, that's... Boy. <laughs> you look like you're hogtied there, Buster. Yeah, they got me pretty good. Uh... How do you reckon we get out of this? Can I roll for perception? Um. Also, kind of see meaning. if my, uh, just if there's anything that could like help out, or also see if my stuff is nearby. So I'm just kind of curious. You haven't seen your stuff since okay. you were taken prisoner. Um, there's nothing really around. It's the belly of the ship. There's closed crates all around you. Seawater sloshes in from time to time. It's been a very damp, salty, quiet existence. Right. Well, I don't... I don't really know how to get out of here. I was going to kind of wait till. <laughs> I guess they're trying to say, sell me or something. They're trying to save us? No, no, they're not, no. I don't know what they're going to do with you, but they're trying to sell me off. Uh, so, I'd buy you. I'm trying to kind of play dumb and just... Sure. When I get the opportunity. I'll, can I roll sh to strength? <clears throat> to try and break... You want to try yeah. and break your chains out? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, you can try and pull with your arms to try and pull the chains out. So... This wood is covered, uh, is constantly covered with seawater. It is old. It is a ship in dire need of repairs. And you rip the manacles straight out of the wood where they are kept on the bottom. Well, on the floor. Uh, okay. I am free, more or less. All right. I would, I would <clears throat> like to, uh, to summon both of my axes as I have every right to do as a as a guy can you just untie me <laughs> oh 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 yeah uh, uh, yeah I don't know what you're gonna do with the axe but I'm gonna kill them all I'm gonna, gonna do is untie me <laughs> yeah I guess I'll uh I guess I'll do that do you need an axe um I guess so okay I'll yeah go. might as well <laughs> I don't know where my stuff is. I want it back. I want it back when you're done. Huh? I want that axe back when you're done. It's very okay. precious to me. It's like a child. <laughs> I, I lent you my child. Okay. Thank you. Well, as Wazgro begins to untie you, um, I want you to roll perception. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's another goal. Sometimes when they get kind of close to one of the holes in the boat, it almost sounds like someone calling out, but it was just another seagull. Oh, boy. The seagulls are so loud. Um. <laughs> yeah, I just... <laughs> Got that right, brother. Woo! Um. Okay, I just want to cut quickly over to Smiles. I will be right back. Oh no. Go to the bathroom.
What do you guys think they're talking about? You. What? <laughs> Nuh-uh. Would you be interested in Minecraft? Tyler? Um... Mm, I, yes? I found a mod, uh, mod pack with, like, skills and stuff. So I think you might be interested in that. Like, medieval theme. Hmm. I could be persuaded. It's pretty dope. But also, I don't really want to do it if no one else is committed. Huh? Do oh, I mean, what? What'd you say, guys? Do what? Don't worry about it. Um, okay. Reno and Eric said they would. Then yeah, I'd do it. Okay. I'm just trying to gauge interest. See what you mind. Okay. So, you found yourself, Black Fang and Benoit, at the Goated Guild. Did I hear that you often order a stack of flapjacks? Benoit? Yes, I do. Man, this guy's good. <laughs> and what about you, Black Fang? <clears throat> um, What's breakfast like for a poisoner? Scotch. Neat. The <laughs> older, the better. For breakfast? They've got a 50-year vintage, so it mm. tastes nice. Black Fang, it runs you a couple silver, but it's pretty negligible. Oh! I mean, I have 800 gold, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll get to how much you guys have. I didn't think about that, but... Just know yeah, that I, money I, I, is... I had, like, a thousand, so I subtracted, like, 200. I kind of figured over time I'd lose some money. Yeah, and, um... Well, I guess Benoit, we can kind of figure yours out really quickly... You have three silver pieces <laughs> and a handful of copper. <laughs> the gold in my pocket weighs like at least 10 pounds. <laughs> Good thing you have a Good belt. <laughs> Good belt. <laughs> Good thing we paid for this meal. I figure I put mo most of it's invested in a very nice diamond that I have sewn into my jacket you know like sewn into the lining of the jacket so mm. i figure it's not actually 10 pounds worth of gold of course not it's like your net worth right. keep good investments in high risk bonds it's not all look you know can't liquidate it all you know right right be a madman well you're eating now i know benoit's still getting over his hangover and the bruises um but have you talked? What what brought you here? And where are you going to next? Where's the rest of the crew? So, uh, how the hell do you uh, plan on getting the crew back together? Uh, what, what, what'd you say? How the hell do you plan on getting the crew back oh. together? <laughs> you know, I've been, I've been staying up late asking myself the very same question. Do you even know where they are? Um, I let's don't. figure out if Benoit knows where Gaffle is. Um, Benoit, roll a history check with disadvantage. I have no idea where anyone is. <laughs> Benoit, I'm gonna give you the skinny here, okay? Alright. I prefer I have a lead on my- I have a lead on my father. Okay, I thought he was dead, and it turns out he's still alive. Uh, and I, I have a lead on him, and, and you know, I, I want to pursue that. But to do that, um, we have to complete a mission for, for some guy. He, w he wants us to do some kind of art heist, or possibly just me. Who knows? I figured I need to get gather some adventurers together so that we can do this heist. So that is kind of why I think we should get the crew together. Now, you just have to figure out where everyone is. I managed to find you guys because 
Uh, I had some contacts in the fighting ring that you were in. But beyond that, I've put out my feelers and I haven't really heard where the others are. Mm. Now, the last I heard, our friend Vanzo was killed. He was ripped in half at a... Um, uh, the monster Evil mash. Castle. Yeah, the it monster happened right in front of your eyes. It was pretty ho horrific. So I don't. I feel like we will not find Vanzo. So we should not look for him at all. Was he not even a little alive, bit. though? He was a puppet. True. True. You know, I've always liked you, Ben. While you ask the real questions around here. Yeah, these flapjacks are real good. It makes you think. <clears throat> <laughs> Talk to this. Tell it to the chef. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I don't really know where to find the other people, but um, I'm assuming we should look for. Uh, Have you tried the uh, carrier pigeon? I that's, no, I wasn't. Didn't think of that. All you do is. Uh, you, you put a piece of that clothing in front of the carrier pigeon's nose and then uh, the carrier pigeon finds them. Oh, let's, uh, I've never heard of that. Yes. We need to look into that. Yes. Who are we looking for? We're looking for Wazgrub. Um, uh, and who else? <laughs> <laughs> Banzo is dead to my knowledge, so we shouldn't look for him. We are looking for uh -huh. the, uh, the Saint Satanist. Oh, Apollo. Yes. And we are uh, looking okay. for uh, the man that I well, live with. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure how you don't know where he is, but that's fine. We'll He's figure it out. in the town that we live. Oh, um, Kavnir? Uh, your former sergeant? stayed at Caliente as he was close enough to retirement that he felt now was as good a time as ever. Wait, uh, so where where is Caliente? Did, did, who went there and why? And like... All of you guys, that was your initial place you went after you escaped and you okay. thought you'd lie low and sort of chill at the resort but found yourself bored and you had other pursuits okay, to chase yeah. after and you kind of split up from there. Uh... But in case anyone's looking for Kavnir, he's a uh, Chilling out with some hot resort ladies, drinking Mai Tais on the beach. Do you, think going, do you think going to Caliente would be a good idea to see if we could pick up a trail of where the, our, the last the, those guys went? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I try your stuff? You, sure, go ahead. I want really to grab good. it and drink all of it. <laughs> One big <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, that was good, that was good. That, oh, what, what did well, you want to do? Uh, uh, well, I, I thought maybe we should go to Cal, uh, Caliente, Caliente, what's it called? Uh, Caliente. Yeah, Caliente. You want to go to that love. snooze fest, Caliente? Well, I figured it might be a good place to start if we're looking for our friends. I don't know where else, where else to go. Isn't that where that uh, yeah, one guy that we used to live with is right now? Kavnir? Yeah, that guy. Yes, maybe. Oh, that guy could was, be worth could be worth a look. That guy was a sad set of affairs. Mm. <laughs> we might need him though. Maybe want to throw up in my mouth every time I saw him. <laughs> 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 Do you have any Christmas? Well, uh, yeah, we'll keep that in mind. We'll ponder on what we should do. All right, I will ponder while I eat the the rest of my flapjack. I will order huh? another drink. I'm suddenly out. Um, make that two. Make that two. Okay, two drinks. Make that blah. Okay. We are going to cut back to um, Wazgrub and Vanzo in the belly of the ship. Uh, Wazgrub, you've just summoned both your axes. You're holding them. You're trying to hold back a primordial primordial how, like uh, roar as you prepare for bloodthirsty combat. Oh, I'm so bloodthirsty. I could just hey. scream right now. Hey, Wazgrub. Let me just... Oh. Uh, hey. Oh. Hey. Yeah, what, what, what do you want? Uh, 
I can't really walk that great at the what moment. Do you, what do you mean? I uh, I had an accident. I can't really walk that great. I don't want to slow you down. Is it okay if I could you like? You seem weak. <laughs> can, I, can I ride on your back or something? I, yeah, I, have, yeah, I just get on I my got, shoulders. Be be my parrot, I guess. Uh, we'll I, be pirates. I got some it's spells. A bad time on to you. tell you, I get kind of seasick. So, well, we'll, it's, we'll go from there. All right. Here's your axe. I don't really. Ah! Oh, I almost did it. Uh, Rel uh, ah! Chill out. Uh, we don't want to. I want to. Ah! You know. Ah! I think. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, let's you know let's take this easy. Let's you know oh. use some stealth here. Let's let's think before we act. Uh, remember what I said about work brain. No think, just ah. I I I wanna. Can I see in this? Can I? I wanna. I wanna. I wanna open. The, I wanna open the. Um, half door. orcs do have. Well, there is no oh, door. There's yeah, only the um. The trap door that sort of you were sort of brought down into, after Vanzo uh, sort of explains it, because you were unconscious. Yes. How do I get out of here, you little you little muppet? Um, after you ask that question, Wazgrub, <laughs> you hear footsteps sort of thundering down to the trap door. Oh. Uh. I do kind of want to hide in a corner. There you go. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Okay. Um, and Vanzo, you're on his back, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you hide behind a box, roll for stealth, as the trap door opens. <laughs> Let's go. I'd like to think I'm comically hiding behind a barrel that's three times smaller than I am. <laughs> Hey ladies, time to get you all prettied up. You get to go see the advisor. And as this grungy sailor begins to descend down the ladder. <laughs> oh boy, lucky too. No one's even seen his fa Wait. He stands at the bottom of the ladder, staring where you two are. Once were. Where? Oh god. Turns around and sees your hulking form standing behind a very small barrel. <laughs> I want to. I want to charge him. And then can I hit him with an Eldritch Blast as well? Oh yeah. Too many Christmas. Cast an Eldritch Blast. Okay. Did mine get him? Great. Both of you guys. Fuck yeah. Um, attack. Just absolutely obliterating this Woo! pirate. Dude, we're Ending him into the side of the... <laughs> this is a nice little <laughs> thing we got going on right now. <laughs> oh, we make a good right. team, Vosgrove. Okay, I just want to run up the run up the ladder as fast as I can. All right, all right. Well, hey, let's... <laughs> <laughs> all right. You ascend the ladder into what's... um. It's like a small little back room off of the main deck. Uh, there's a door in front of you and a door to the right that you've never been through before, Wazgrub. In fact, you're not even exactly sure what this is or what's going on right now. Uh, most um, of the time. But, Vanzo, you recall going through this door when you first boarded this ship. As you know, it leads up to the captain's quarters. All right. Hey! Wait, so this door leads to the captain's quarters? It it opens up to a set of stairs that leads to the okay, captain's right, quarters. Okay, gotcha. Hey, let's go up the stairs real quick. Uh, okay, okay. I blindly follow his, his Okay. Command. I'm going to have you... Are you being stealthy at all? No. Okay, so... I am bloodlusting. <laughs> hey, let's be stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I a made a, that. a very shitty attempt to be stealthy now. Okay, you intentionally roll stealth with disadvantage. Go ahead. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you sort of thunder up the steps. I want to think I'm being stealthy as well. 
as you thunder up the steps. Quiet down. <laughs> I am quiet. <laughs> you see the form of Captain Half Haunches facing away from you, pouring himself a drink. Can I roll for perception to see if what I want is there? Um, he's turned away from you. Okay, so he's he, okay. His back is facing you. I see, I see. All right. Settle um, down, Sturges. You don't need to rush up the stairs. Um, I'm going to hit him. Muppet, say something clever back. No, let's just get him. <laughs> Kill, stab him from behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to hit him, meaning with an Eldritch Blast? Yeah, we're both going to sneak up on him. Well, I wouldn't call it sneaking, but his back oh. is to you. Yeah, we'll get him. He won't expect an attack, though. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> uh, let's both okay. get him. Yeah. Ah. What? <laughs> he says ah. as he puts down his drink. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I charge him. I charge him. Hopefully your roll's better than mine. Okay, oh good luck. God. Go ahead uh, and roll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you no. advantage, uh, and it's still not enough. Okay, I can attack twice, so I'm... Okay, yeah, yeah go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Ooh. What was that? Wait, I'm... No, did I get doing. advantage too? Uh, oh, yeah, that would, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, 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 well, that, that, you definitely. Okay, on the roll twenty, I'll just sort of map this out a little bit. Um, if you guys want to drag yourself on, I'd appreciate. Oh it. my god, I I also have an extra attack too. Sorry. It's been extra a attack or extra like spell cast? I have an extra attack. I'll just okay. flash in. Yeah, it's part of my attack. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. I don't know how to drag myself. You know how to be a drag queen? I could try. Don't be a drag. Just be a queen. Then can I also roll for perception you... to see if my stuff's here, maybe? Well, so I'll right now... later. We're in the middle um, of the fight. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So, your first failed Eldritch Blast... Sails past and clears a hole in the wood right oh. next to the captain's head. <laughs> that hole, as the smoke sort of clears, you see a familiar face staring back at you, decorated <laughs> in a... <laughs> decorated... You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> in, a, in, a beaded, in a beaded headdress and pierced lip. Does he have those Jack Sparrow eyes? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. A pop is staring back at you. Oh, Goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great googly gargoyle. Oh, What's going on out there? God. Captain, watch yourself. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on one second. Um... Let me just get everybody out here. <laughs> oh shit! I wasn't even. Yeah, if you, I, I just, it's something you know, very basic, but this is sort of map it out. So Apollo, you can only kind of see through the hole. You don't have as great of a view. You think you see a hooded m Muppet figure on the back. Uh, but yeah, as far as you're aware, the captain is in danger. The captain whirls around in absolute anger and stares at you. Ah, the stowaways think they can best me in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Would I know that that is lost robot here? Um, after the guttural roars, it's definitely familiar. Let me see where I am on the turn order first. Okay. Did we get him with those two? Oh, sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. You you damaged him. I apologize. So one Eldritch Blast and one hand axe went sinking into the captain's back. 
that's up top. Yeah. Uh, Bitch. So, um, Mario, as a reminder, you need to click yeah, on your yeah. character. It's okay. I'll do it for you. Oh, okay. Thanks. How do I uh, get this gun initiative? Whatever. It, it won't let me click on my character? You have to make sure you have the mouse clicked, not the other thing. I have the mouse clicked. Bitch. Have the mouse clicked. There you go. Right now. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Uh, Perfect. Alrighty. I'm gonna sm fucking kill you. Uh, uh, I'm uh, Captain Half Hunches of the Sea Bears. Yeah, well, your advisor's a dumbass. <laughs> hey! Okay, come on. <laughs> Wazgrub, you get one more attack. Oh, wait. Oh, it's your turn again, I should say. Okay. And one of the axes is, is in his back? No, you just cut. Oh, I'm sorry oh, okay, to say. Okay. You just sunk a great wound into his back. Oh, okay. Also, because I have two axes, I can attack twice. And that would make sense. Attack, so that's three. Okay. Just remembering the rules. Okay, so. Oh. Sense. I guess that one doesn't hit. That one hits, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. A uh, critical yeah. hit. Oh, wait, I get a thing for critical hit. Core blimey. What are you doing? Oh, I can roll the dice an additional time for the damage on critical hit. Nice. You continue to slice and slice and throw the captain back. He tries to parry, but he just can't oh. with all of your action. Give me your teeth! Apollo. Uh, I would like... Hold on. I, first of all, I'd come out of my little office and I... <laughs> out of your office? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so, what? Apollo is wearing a beaded dress... In styles with various like pirate sort of like accoutrements, little gold doubloons dangling here and there. But he wears a headdress, and he has like odd face paint on. Um. Uh, and his face is sort of painted in a fashion similar to like what a yin yang symbol would look like. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. You two, what are you doing here? Well, especially you, Vonzo. Captain, fending up, parrying Wazgrub's attacks, looks at his advisor and goes, <laughs> You know these stowaways? Vaguely, they kind of ruined my, my Are career. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I need to get off this. Them. Uh, and I would like to cast a uh, charm person at a third level. <laughs> uh, uh. Unto who? Uh, well, that's a great thing. It's gonna be on all of you. <laughs> okay, no. everybody make a wisdom saving throw. Oh god, I'm not wise. Let's all just relax here oh, for wait, a moment. Oh, that was my saving throw. Disregard. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Greg... Mario and uh, the captain passes. All right, that's good. that's good enough. Wait, all right, you fellers. We uh we get it with advantage if your companions are fighting it. I would. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? If you read the spell. Well, you guys aren't my companions yet, bitch. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, but. I would argue the captain is your companion, and he's fighting us. So the captain gets advantage, is what you're saying? No, we get advantage, is what I'm reading it as. Whatever, it doesn't matter. No, if they're... If oh, they oh, like... yeah, 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 it, you guys do get advantage, that makes sense. So, Wazgrub does not fall under your charm, but Vanzo does. Oh, well. 
All right, fellas. Let's just... The charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> and the pirate and Lesgrub continue to duel. Ah, Apollo. <laughs> fellas, <laughs> my good friend. Fellas, can't we just talk here for a moment? Let's let's not do anything to. Maybe we Teacher, should... you have a name. Ah! Do I have a name? I didn't know you had one. Well, of course I have a name. You are so wise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, half haunch. Now let's... Mr. Mr. Wasgrub, can we please just de-escalate this a little bit? Uh, convince me. I love you, please. I'm I'm in a bloodlust right now. I <laughs> I'm seeing red. Ah, you're seeing red, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, I'll start and see, show you where. Pa pow. Oh, you're you're just aggravating me. Are you gonna attack him? Is that yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm talking to Apollo. What did the oh, Apo yeah. Apollo do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm out of action for this turn, but Okay, so you're getting ready to hit him. I'm getting ready to Wapow. Okay, understood. Well, the captain makes two attacks with his with, with his saber. <laughs> the first one is a critical hit. Uh scored against you, Wasgrub. No. Dealing two D eight plus two. So 13 damage as he advances, pushing you back in your duel and pushes you out onto the um, the deck where he addresses all of his pirates. The whole crew is witness to this fight now. So great. Oh, no. Oh, that's... You're powerless against me in front of my men. Don't worry, they won't interact. This is our fight, your low life. And I'm a pirate. I do ask that you spare them, <laughs> my my gracious student. Let me uh, be the judge of their fate. Hopefully. Uh, the only judge will be the sea god, and whether it swallows this land of her hall. The drowned well, one. <laughs> well, uh, hey, uh, orcs can't swim. <laughs> well, then you better drown. Before a sea leopard eats you whole. No. Vanza, no. um, you are charmed. Yes, I can't really do anything. Uh. I mean, I think you could. Uh, what? You can. Tr you could try catching up with Apollo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Paul. <laughs> Wait, isn't there a? Uh, something you can do to try and break the charm person off hand. Uh, <laughs> can I do that? Like another wisdom saving throw? Nope. Nope. All right. Until you well. or your companions do anything harmful to it. I see. Hey, Paulo. Hey, bud. Let's. <laughs> I hop off Wazgrub. <laughs> oh, my parrot. Listen, bud. Could you calm your? Could you calm Wazzy down? Hey, Wazgrub. Come on. He's a friend. We're all buds here. There's, there's yeah, you don't need. You could trust this guy. Okay. I would. Well, you haven't led me astray yet, puppet. <laughs> Ooh, Please don't right, call me that. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you, weak little, you weak little Muppet? How are you walking? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come hey, on. hey. Jesus I have Christ. trouble walking. I can still walk. You may I be had pirate, pirate, but you we on don't... my back. So I wouldn't slow you down. I was doing you a favor. I'm also... Oh, I barely God. weigh anything. <laughs> you were slowing me down. I, this I was over. helping you. Go I, what are you talking I'm about? This. I'm done with this. Wow, we were a good team for like five minutes. No, I'm, I'm not done with you. I'm done with this pirate fight. Uh, we'll be well, I'm not done with you. Oh, 
We'll be oh, back. Come, come on, Captain. Come on, Captain. Ah, come on, Let's... Captain. Come on, Captain. Yeah, come on. <laughs> My dearest, gracious Captain Half Haunch, Mister the Sea Bear. Let's let's bring this let's bring this down. Wes, I thought you were somewhere you someone else. What what'd you say? It's your turn, Wesgrub. Oh. Well, I don't want to lower anything, any weapons, or my guard before he does. So, um, I guess I will not do that. Not attack him. Is that, hey, Captain. You're just Mr. going to defend. Bear. Yeah, I'll defend. Okay. Mr. Captain C Bear. What? Can't we be friends? Listen to the, the the beaded man. I'm going to slaughter you and feed you to the sea. Well, he's your advisor. Don't you think you should yeah, listen to him? Listen I mean, to your advisor. Well, he's gotten you. Shut up. He's gotten you where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm charmed. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get him where he was. I, I was. I was more of a hired-on intern. Uh, yeah, why are you downplaying your role here? <laughs> I don't understand. You're trying to convince him. Oh. You're. A, it is so hard to be charmed by you. <laughs> Do we really want Apollo on the team? Let's be honest here. Um, Sorry, I'm Apollo, if you're trying to convince your captain to lay down his arms, you should roll a persuasion check. Jeepers. Dude, you're his visor. You have the advantage. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna die. Captain, don't you think that there's better ways than just brute murder? This is not murder. This is a matter of honor. He stroked me in my back and he boarded my ship. He is my problem. Well, Where's Grub? Put them it to is... work. You want to continue to just keep defending? Uh, I know I'm was... a fish. Uh, uh, <laughs> listen, we don't gotta do this now. We can do this later over some fish. I can fish really well. Please don't kill me. Listen to your advisor. But I will, I will fight. You can try to persuade with disadvantage. Oh, God. Uh... I honestly might just walk back into my cell. <laughs> <laughs> While you are illustrating with your hands a motion that you can fish, uh, in the middle of a duel, the captain does get off a hit on you. Oh, no. For a d8 plus 2 damage. 7 damage. No. Okay. I don't care about fish, only that you'll be sleeping with them. Yeah! And as the fight duels, I want to draw back to our friends on land. No. So, Blackfang and Benoit. Is it your intent to write a letter to Kavnir, or to travel to Caliente? Uh... I don't know. I guess I just figured that maybe he was the last person to see everyone, so I just kind of want to make contact with him in some way, just to see mm -hmm. if he can point us in the direction of where our faithful friends have gone when you last saw them. Sure. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that could consist of sending a letter. Um, I don't really know where Caliente is, if that's kind of in the direction we want to be going, or... So, it is not far from the Beggar's Coast. There's kind of a reason you guys naturally gravitated back here. Um, I will draw, since I don't have a map ready, uh, on the map. Or on this page. Okay. So, cool. the Beggar's Coast sort of looks like that. Bellarask is, like, way up north that way. Um, there is a rather large island... Um, across this little strait called Heel. Um, an unnamed um, island over here that I'll come up with later. Uh, in Kalyan... Have... What's that? These are, these are some of the old names from the old veteran. You got it. Matt, love it. Uh, and right here is Cal... 
Yente. Okay. Um, oh, and you. Oh, sorry. You don't know where you are. Um, you kind of sit in the elbow of this. Uh, right there. Gotcha. Um, Jagen's Port. Jagen's Port. Not a huge detail, but that is where you guys began your journey. This is where you guys all were recruited in the first place. So you have okay. a vague familiarity with this city. Oh, everybody. Other than um, the Black Fang. Well, who are the original members? Just uh, Apollo <laughs> and, Gaffle. and Gaffle. Apollo wow. and Gaffle. That's pretty wild. Um, Can't keep a good man down. So would there be... <laughs> would there be a, would there be, like, a huge time difference between us traveling there as opposed to, like, sending a bird? Or would it be pretty comparable? In terms of, like... Well, so at this point, if you're worried about, like, uh, going on, like, two different timelines with the other side of the party, um, everything would work out all right. But, yeah, obviously, like, if you sent a courier, uh, you wouldn't hear back for at least a few days. Uh, there's often ships... You know, Jägen's port, true to its name, has many, many ships that go between this area and that. Uh, but it's at least, like, a day or two sail away. Um, so you could expect a response within a week. Okay. Traveling there would take about a day or two. Benoit, what do you think? Uh, let me finish this last slot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Your time. Mm. We've only been here for like three hours. Not a big deal. Not that bad. Ten uh, <laughs> o'clock. Walk, walk. I need uh, my clear up waiter. Waiter. The waiter who knows you're a regular rolls their eyes and says, "I'm gonna have to start charging you for syrup." Clear up. Uh, well, you know, I like to drench them. I like to drench. That's Put why I'm going to have to charge you. I'm a Put off. it on my tab, it's okay. Put it on uh, his tab. I just, can I charge him specifically? Also, while yes. on his tab, uh, let's just get a bottle of that stuff out here. Just a full bottle. <sighs> yeah, why not? The waiter groans. Why not? Okay. He goes behind the bar bottles. for your syrup and scotch. Um, yeah, I, w I went ahead and tied up like most of my money in like that like diamond. So I actually don't mm -hmm. have that much money on hand, but it's fine. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know how much a, a boat ride costs, but I can almost guarantee that I do not have any. Yeah. Oh, do you guys? I came up with this. I finally came up with like a good mental workaround for like how much stuff costs. Once I finally started to do this other campaign with Michael and Emily. So, I'll write it down in chat. But one gold piece is equivalent to, like, $50 US. And working our way down by tens, one silver piece is, like, $5. And one copper piece is, like, 50 cents. And we're just going to do like a 10-10-10 ratio. Or, sorry, one copper piece is 50. I thought that was a very handy way to like actualize how much stuff costs uh, and relate it to like the real world. So like this meal that you guys are having costs a few silver pieces, like a $15 meal. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I thought that was a good way to do it. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I don't know, not know how much a boat ride would cost. Do you know? You've been on all the especially, way. Especially to Caliente, you know, I don't know. It's probably pretty penny to get there. I'd like to roll. Well, a um, sweet check. you can. Since well, I'm this? from Caliente we... to here. Yeah, exactly. So you did pay for a boat ride to come to Jägensport from Caliente. I remember. And that. it was like. <laughs> it was a flat five gold. P oh, perfect! It was a flat five gold pieces. I do not have a flat five gold pieces. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe uh, uh, so yeah, that, that wouldn't that wouldn't be that much money to, to pay if you wanted it, if we wanted to go there. Oh, okay. I mean, ten gold for both of us. Is a freaking thing, you know. 
Well, I mean, I don't know. Do you have, do you have any other ideas? Do we look for Gaffel first, or just try and head to Caliente and see if Cabnier can tell us where to go? The... Yeah, I mean, we should probably get to Gaffel before we, we head out, if we are headed now. DM, should guarantee. we look for Gaffel at the moment? So, um, Gaffel's recruiting experiences uh, will often take him a few days to maybe a week to travel out there, spend a few days with his little pop-up table and flyers, um, and then he returns. Um, Benoit can't honestly tell the last time he saw Gaffel. Um, and he's not really sure how long he's been away or honestly if Gaffel's alive right now. So I wouldn't say it would be a terrible idea to put Gaffel on hold. Okay. Due to the unfortunate timing of your arrival. That works with me. Um, yeah, I say we just... I mean, I say Kavnir is really our only lead at the moment. I say we just <clears throat> set sail for Caliente and uh, and um, like see if Kavnir has any information for us. All right, that, All right. Uh, that sounds good. All right, so I'm we'll... always down for a good boat ride. So down at um, the sort of dockmaster station. Um, it's incredibly busy. Uh, you're on the south side, and you've been standing in line for over 30 minutes. Uh, but you finally get to the front, where you're asked where you'd like to secure passage. Um, once you offer up that you're trying to get to Caliente, quick as you can, uh, yeah, say there's like actually the, been a... We would like the del deluxe suites. Uh... I don't know about that. What? You said you were let's, see how much, let's see how much he wants to charge us first. All right, settle down. Listen, I can't even get you the deluxe seats, what? this young uh, dock hand tells you. I can't even get you anything. Boats out to Caliente are backed up by at least a week from Jägensport. But if you want, I've heard that they're sending out sort of uh, um, overflow ships from some small fishing villages in the area. Uh, most of them are about a day away travel. The closest ones are like, Halith, which is like a day's ride away. You got Mitsko, I've heard Halleth? is like two days away. Yeah, Halith. It's down the How coast to the east. How much is what? The passage to Halith. Um I don't you could probably get the if you if you get a carriage, um you could travel down the road, follow the coast, uh keep the sea to your left. Um, yeah, probably about a day's ride away. Most carriage companies, I don't know, it's probably going to cost you a gold, five silver, or something like that. Okay? If that's all I can do for you, I need you to get out of line. All right. Mm. What do you say? We get a deluxe carriage to uh, one of these dumb fishing villagers? I I think Halleth is a good idea. That I, I have... I have uh, I have a contact there that we're gonna meet, so I think we should head there. You want to go to Hollis, do you? Yeah, right. it's a, a kind of a nothing out of the way fishing village, but uh, like I said, our next I think our next mission is there, and hopefully we can find some more information on where our boys are. All right, we can do that. All right, how much did you say it was? Sorry. Well, after shacking up with a carriage company, um, or trying to catch a carriage on sort of the eastern gates of the city. Um, you sort of single on one older woman who's calling out, Five silver for passage to the f fishing villages, the eastern fishing villages, Harleth, Mitsko, Kalia. I head all the way. Five silver pieces. Provide your own food. My good lady, we would, we would like two seats to Halleth, if you have them. Oh, I've got it. All right, come on aboard. <laughs> you can tell it's uh, sort of a budget traveling service. The seats aren't very nice. The springs are poking through in a couple places, but you're the only passengers. And nice. almost as soon as you get aboard, she goes, well, okay, time to go. And it takes <laughs> off. Nice. 
So you got about a day's ride ahead of you in one of the most uncomfortable traveling situations you've been on. I fall asleep on. immediately. I, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm just, I'm happy to be <laughs> on the road again. This is so much better uh, than the ground I usually sleep on. <laughs> <laughs> and the screen wipes with a sword that cuts through against a pair of axes. As Grub is dueling, you guys are walking uh, in almost like a Pirates of the Caribbean set piece. You're like standing atop of the banisters and dueling back and forth um, while Apollo and Vanzo try and calm you down from below. Wazgrub, it is your turn again. Hey, you gotta calm him down. I tried to I tried to reason with the man. I'm, try I'm trying my best, sir. I don't think either of you are trying that hard. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna swing at him again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Do any of those go through? Um, none of them go through. You don't get advantage with your rage mode at all? Oh, it's, I guess it's not rage mode. I'm used no. to berserk. <laughs> Much Wake more of a barbarian. Wake the freak up, because I'm about to go beast mode. No, no, no. All of your things fly through um, his ironclad defenses. He, is a, he has good sea legs and good duelist arms. Apollo, you watch in horror as your student and your former guy you kind of knew are dueling. <laughs> He's learned so much. <laughs> he's okay. starting. He's starting to believe. <laughs> captain, captain, come on, let's settle this. Uh, there's more productive ways we could settle this. You know, we, we could maybe do a a pirate court. Maybe it, <laughs> we we could bring that. <laughs> What's that? Another court. You're Is watching really pirate court, judge. Wasn't there, like, that game that they play in, like, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest with, like, the dice? Yeah. Where they, like, could... solve their disputes? We, mm. could, we could play a game of dice or, you know, <laughs> bring the, bring the <laughs> gods. I, I could bring I the gods into this. Dice. Uh, a liar's dice. dice. Yeah, let's play a game of dice, you know? Let's just chill uh, out. What do you say, Captain? Teacher, Archibald? I greatly respect your knowledge of all things spiritual and wise. But right now, these are the laws of the sea, and my men are watching. Well, Apollo, do you have anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, I would like to try uh, I'm gonna Try and make him think his god is not happy with him by casting a major image. Uh, wow. Hey man, I only get like two spell slots a day. So I may as well make some epic. Uh, maybe make like a, like a huge wave, pretend to hit them. Or stormy cloud or something kind of. Um, I am gonna use my uh my second wind to regain some health real quick. So. Okay. Do you see this, Captain? Does this look like your gods are particularly what? happy with you? What do you uh? What does this okay. god look like? Uh, I was thinking more, just like, it's gonna look like it's real stormy out and like. Maybe it sounds like there's waves hitting the, the boat. I don't. Um. I could make up some buff pirate man in my head. But. I guess it's an image no bigger than a twenty foot cube. So, I guess I'm just curious what you're picturing <laughs> in your head. Uh, you know what? What with that in mind, maybe I will just summon a large buff looking pirate man but like very large okay up in the sky um okay you, you can make it carry on conversation so Whoa. thunder cracks and the image of a large pirate appears above the ship er core blimey 
<laughs> what? <laughs> the, the, the captain, <laughs> Captain Half Haunches, is only somewhat distracted from the duel. Stares up at the shape above him. Gore blindy, just... me old Half Haunches. Your gracious teacher, Apollo, has sent me down to try and dispel this battle of yours. He's going to roll the intelligence uh, check. <laughs> the pirate god? <gasps> it's Davy uh, Jones. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's Stevie Jones. <laughs> Is it Stevie Jones? <laughs> he lowers I... his he lowers his weapon as he stares up in amazement. I'm gonna roll for the crew. I'll give him disadvantage because they're uh, not super educated pirates. <laughs> wow, that was useful. The entire pirate crew stares up in a, in amazement, most with fear. Me, I it is I, Stevie Jones, Mister Hapunches. What are you doing fighting this dastardly, uh, orc? Well, uh, Stevie, it, it was merely an act of sea honor. He challenged me as a captain. He is a stowaway, and he escaped, and I'm giving him the righteous combat that the sea demands. I... What am I doing wrong? I was just an angry orc. I don't know what hey, to but a stow is, is part of the pirate's life. A pirate's life for him. You know what I'm saying. You're saying I should put him back on the crew? I'm, I'm saying give him a chance, me matey. See what what good he could bring. Well, <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I did try that, and he kept fighting the other sailors. And isn't that a tenet of our sea religion? That a sailor gets along with a sailor, though they may hash and break ash every once in a while. Hash and break ash. Hash and break ash. And the, the, the sailors all chant out, Hash and break ash. Hash and break ash. <laughs> we could try and put on, hmm, maybe a sea court of some sort. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Your... Your teacher, uh, Apollo, seems like a mighty fine judge of character. <laughs> you suggest a court like the the governmental landlubbers do, right? Yeah. I mean, more of a sea, a sea lover, but in a way. <laughs> Why the fuck do you need a court? You have to convince them that you are their god! <laughs> Great idea, Apollo! You're doing it again! <laughs> oh, um, can you roll? I roll deception? Per persuasion with advantage from the perspective of the sea god. Okay. Um. It's just an idea. Maybe maybe put it on a game of <laughs> a game of chance. I don't. I um. Should I consult my teacher as to how I should run this court? Yes, me matey. That sounds um, idyllic. Um, b before you go, Stevie Jones, um, Jeez. I've heard tales that you don't speak to your loyal and wicked servants unless it's a matter of great importance. What makes this orc and his puppet so important? If I may be so humble to ask. And humble you may be, my my loyal companion, me matey. I sense these landlubbers 
PC lovers. I sense that they'll be finding some mighty booty in their future. The the Maybe. crowd all goes, ooh. Mighty booty. Well, say no more, Stevie Jones. <laughs> Maybe there'll um, be a return on investment to be made to you. <laughs> okay. The captain looks at you, Wazgrub, and says, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to call a draw for now. Oh, okie dokie. Um, teacher, uh, my god instructs me to consult you on how to have sea court. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh. I'm no lawyer, but I have a, I have an idea, I guess. What's the idea? Uh, I mean, it, he could have a lawyer, which I presume, I guess, would be this puppet here. And oh, don't track me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Maurice Salbeck Daddy all over. Yeah, no, this is Apollo the same. <laughs> And I guess you could have a, a crewmate speak on your part as a as a lawyer, and um, I would be the judge. Could I do my quartermaster? Yeah, sure. Okay, Bobby, and he calls up this portly man with a shirt with a ton of holes in it, holding a crude clipboard. Aye, oh, sir. You know much of sea law? Uh, northern about it, sir. Uh, get up here. Um, uh, and so he stands, kind of holding his hands in front of him, and looks to you, teacher. Um, court is, um, it starts now. Alright, let's find, uh, let's find... You wanna, uh... 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 The people versus... Wasgrub and Bonzo. Wait, Bonzo, your charm lawyer. person, your charm <laughs> person is over. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Well, you know what court. just happened. Uh, I think that's part of charm person is that you're aware of everything that just happened, yeah. and who charmed oh. you and all that stuff. <sighs> Wait, so I'm the lawyer. But it's all. But I'm also getting. Uh, well, maybe we'll. I'm confused. <laughs> let's start at the beginning. Uh, and by that I mean. Let's... <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what is? Can I? What is your goal here? Can I just ask you that? Well, it's hopefully not to send you lovers to Stevie Jones's locker. Well, why are you making it so complicated? <laughs> um, the captain leans, the captain leans this, over to you two and says, a court case now? <laughs> Cart is in session. <laughs> okay. Now, Esquire Manzo, what, what do you and Wazgrub bring that might make you Honorable sea lovers. Well, um, I do have an interesting bit of information about our captain here. Uh... He might not—he might not be the kind of person you guys all think he is. I... Um, what are you talking about? I think Your this captain. Is... Uh, this is this is out of order. Your captain <laughs> is a werebear. <laughs> And you turn to the crowd, and they're all staring at you. And one of them <laughs> looks up at the flag that's on their ship. And in crude lettering, it's called the Sea Bears. <laughs> and a giant picture of a bear. Did you guys know that? It. <laughs> it's going to look at each other dumbfounded at what's going on. But, uh, uh. um,. They loyally uh, respect this process. 
and don't speak during court. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, That's all I got. We could. Can we take a plea? A plea, sub, a plea deal? Uh, <laughs> do we meet in recess for a plea deal? <laughs> um, does that. Can I speak? You of course. I'm literally making this up to my eyes. You have the. <laughs> um. Captain Half Conscious, so, your lawyer may speak. Thank you. Bobby, go get him. Bobby steps up. So, as far as I could see, these twos were stowaways. And the rules for stowaways on our ship is that we either keep them and sell them as slaves, or we kill them. And this time we were trying to sell them as slaves, and then they broke out. And, um, anytime anyone disobeys an order from the captain, um, it's acceptable to duel. So we think we should resume the duel or feed them to the sea. Thank you. He steps back into his respective imaginary booth. Honestly, I think we should go back to the duel, too. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of order. No, uh, I think uh, I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Guys, the lawyers for a plea deal. Oh, um, God. the quartermaster comes over to you, Vanzo, and says, um, my client will take either a duel or a walk of the plank. What say you? Definitely. Will he walk the plank? No. I jokingly ask. I'm scared of water. No, it would just be you and your client. Then we'll duel. And we'll, well win. I, okay. I, 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 wait. I, what? Oh, well, what do you have to I, say? Can we just find, <laughs> can a help nice us out? Can we find a nice middle ground, maybe? What middle ground? Another court case? <laughs> <laughs> maybe Wascrum accepts defeat legally. And, and then of, kill us. Or sell of, us. And, well, and, and in its return, we just drop you guys off at the nearest island or peninsula, wherever we are closest to, geographically speaking. I would love that, but is that actually going to happen? I mean, that, de that depends on if Bobby agrees. Um, if we're making a plea deal, those are our terms. It's not much of a deal. Well, hey, why do you want to kill us so bad anyways? Um, you dishonor the captain. Um, could, you, could you say you're yeah, sorry? I guess. Uh, sure, I'm sorry for dishonoring you, captain. Um, thanks for your apology, but my honor still stands, and I need to kill your assailant. Uh, oh, well, I don't think much, anyone would want um, to buy an I'm not, I'm not sure if... Sea court is different, but um, those are our ship's rules. What happens well, if we win the duel? Yeah, what happens if we win? What if they win the court? Well, by no, no. ancient sea law, you kill the captain. You're captain of the ship now. All right. High risk, high reward. I like it. That's an um, interesting judge, prospect. a motion to accept the plea deal. Uh, I guess I'll look at Vanzo. Is that cool? Yeah, we'll duel. <laughs> uh, permission granted. I, I guess we go back to a duel. <laughs> oh, oh my. <sighs> Excellent diplomacy, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're fucking just started. But half punches, half punches. I ask that half punches, wall scrub. I do ask, ask that I see no death in this, in this what? battle. Um, teacher, that's what a duel is. So are you kidding God. me? You don't have to kill each other. You can, you know, just. So, Captain, is this, is this? Did we do sea court correctly? <laughs> I reckon. Can we just get this over with? I, re I reckon C. Judge Lance Nito would be proud of what we accomplished. You fucking... <laughs> Steve has thrown uh, you so many bones. <laughs> just do the deal. 
Alright. I motion for Vanzo to get back up on my shoulders. Oh, I hop back up. I'm ready. Yeah. Alright, well, um, let's get, uh, back to it, I guess. Ah! Um, that was Smiles' turn. Um, <laughs> um, so the captain is going to nod and tip his hat, and then advance towards you with two attacks. Stevie oh. Jones is gonna float above this with his arms in concentration. Just okay. watching, just watching. Oh, he gets off another critical hit. Oh, so he no. swipes into you, Wazgrub. 2d8 plus 2, 10 damage, slashing. Oh. And gets off a bonus action with a f golden, what seems like a hand crossbow, out of his coat pocket. And with an explosive, almost cannon-like sound, <laughs> fires it at Vanzo on his back. I'm going to add three to this roll. A small projectile whizzes past Vanzo's face. Boop, boop. Uh, off the record, Vanzo. How How's the cat it is your turn. Alright. I will cast Hellish Rebuke. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. You know, you know who? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Stevie Jones. Okay. Woo! 2d10 fire damage. And at that, as the flames begin to sort of muster and cover over him, it sets oh. off hey, a weird black powder satchel on his left, uh, on his belt, causing a small explosion. But before that, as the flames climb up his leg, he looks you both in the eye and goes, Let Stevie Jones rest ye soul. The small explosion creates a sort of crater on the side of Captain Half Haunch's uh, abdomen, and as his internal organs spill out onto the deck, Boy. he collapses, screaming, and arms extended towards his god before he I falls dead. Oh, never mind. Well, okay. I guess you could. Oh. I, no, I just want... I was just going to be spared to dying. I don't want this dude to just... No, you fucking kill him! Oh, no, do that! <laughs> I swear to God, you what? little shit, you he little lost fucking him. shit! He lost him. You don't need to kill him. No, you, it will. You have to kill him. It's a duel. Don't do this. Oh the my quartermaster, God. The quartermaster, the quartermaster, and all the crewmates are. Anymore. Are watching, um, <gasps> are watching Apollo <laughs> as he prepares a spell. You the quartermaster looks very shit. worried. Um, I want to tackle Apollo to prevent him from doing the spell. Sounds good. It'll be strength oh, versus strength saving weasel. throw. <laughs> <laughs> I've never oh, been more God. mad at your character. <laughs> okay, give me a straight up strength roll. Oh. Straight up strength, <laughs> straight up strength roll. Thank God. God. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I would have fucking killed you. <laughs> <laughs> I would have cast another one right at you, dude. Apollo is tackled straight onto the deck <laughs> as the captain breathes his last blood soaked breath and like falls you. dead. Like the quartermaster you. steps down, checks the captain's pulse, and goes, oh, He's dead. And the ca all the crewmates go, Oh. So who's right. the captain? I'm the uh, captain now. I raise Fonzo <laughs> up by his little feet. The captain. The uh, crowd doesn't. The crowd doesn't react right away. I go. Um, what's your name, puppet man? Vanzo Helsing. He's a and great. Cool do we dude. still get to call ourselves the Sea Bears? Of sure. Of course we do. Yeah. <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to make you walk the plank, to be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm really considering it. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah, one more slip up, you're gone. I think Stevie I'm not, Jones I'm not have, dead serious. Stevie Jones is gonna have a 
afford to speak about you. If you I don't give a fuck it. about Stevie yeah. Jones. <laughs> yeah. God, <is> that? <laughs> yeah, you might not care. Did Tyler <laughs> see all of this? Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm. Oh, okay. I, um, Never, I misunderstood something. Wait, so I, I search. Uh, the captain's body. Does he have what I want? Or did I burn yes, too much? Yes, it was. It was. Should it, it was hanging around his neck. Okay, I take it. Okay. What is it, Greg? What is it? I don't tell you. <laughs> Can I do perception? See what it is. Steve. Um, sorry, I'm just, uh, messaging Reno. Give me one second. Reno, just look on, uh, I'm whispering it to you. What? Okay, um, can you repeat that? Whoever it was. Uh, could I roll perception to see what, uh, Greg snapped? Sure, but you were on the ground, <laughs> um, and currently covered by, uh, Wisegrab's foot. Wesgrub's foot. So roll perception with disadvantage. So you don't know, but you know that it was snagged from his neck. And yeah, I'll tell you what you know is around his neck. <laughs> In a whisper. You guys can continue. Well. Alright, everyone. Just to make this very clear to the whole crew, don't trust the blue guy. <laughs> You're a blue guy. You, that's true. <laughs> Bitch. Don't I'm trust sorry. the blue skin guy. Trust the blue fur guy. <laughs> Which is me. Because I'm the captain. All right. I like how your fucking save okay. for the dumb court decision was to suggest a game of chance. <laughs> it's complete luck. Yeah, we're better off with the duel. <laughs> I just did not want to go through this whole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reno. I gave you. I gave you the character sheet you needed. Well, yeah. um, our uh, meeting up in so, an hour class uh, objective kind of has gone out the window. Absolutely, but it's okay, because um, we're going to at this point jump back to um, uh, everyone in. So just you two in your carriage ride. Um. Yes, it is about the end of the following day. Um, what have you guys talked about generally along your carriage ride? Benoit was asleep for a great majority of, of it. Crime, you know? The justice thereof? That's mostly what I talk about. Benoit, were you paying attention or did you say anything at all? Um, I was... Mostly concerned about how I was going to get the bottle of scotch away from him. <laughs> Were you successful? Uh, Sleight of hand? <laughs> you were not. <laughs> and Black Fang noticed this and eventually stopped talking to you because you could tell you were just not interested. So, uh, you, uh, what kind of job did you do while you were away from us? Uh, all sorts, you know, all sorts of petty crime and beating up jaywalkers and, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, Nothing uh, really that's got the blood stirring, you know, the, just kind the, of. Vigilante type? Yes, exactly. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Listen, can I get that bottle from you? <laughs> sure, man. Let's open her up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's share it. Yeah. I don't know if we have anything to pour it into. We'll just drink from the bottle. 
Nas <laughs> leda, do you have do you have cups or mugs or leda? Hello. Leda. Um, are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking yes, to well, you. Yes, well, lady, what is your name? Um, oh, uh, my name is Mags. Right. And I, uh, this Mags. is my thing. Oh, sorry, Reno, I fixed that thing for you, by the way. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, Mags, um, I've been doing this route the better part of, um, three months now, and I'm pretty sure we're on the right way. That's great. Do I have mugs? Do I have mugs? Uh, um, I got my own mug. <laughs> she sort of, like, leans down her just crooked teeth and, like, gray hair falling over her face. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hold out the bottle, offer to pour a little bit in her mug if yeah, she wants. Yeah, attractive. Well, let's not go too hasty, all right? Um, Bags. she gladly takes a sip. She is not yes. to us. Uh, uh, we're right. celebrating, you know? I mean, we're getting the gang back together, you know? It's deserved to be a part of the celebration, Max. Oh! Getting the, well, quite a gang you've got here. Two people. Yes. Well, you know... Where's the rest of them? We're, we're working on it. <clears throat> well, I see a lot of people. Um, who are you looking for? Have you heard of a, uh, short little boy? <laughs> Are you asking if I've transported a little boy? No, no. Um, Have you seen a little boy that works for the Dark Guild or the Black Guild? A little boy? He may have tried to recruit you to the Black Guild. Uh, Wait. Is, he a is that what this is? And she sort of reaches um, underneath her seat. It's all wet and damp. And while she's kind of steering the horses around an oncoming carriage, um, she sort of hands it back to you, and she hands you a crumpled up um, pamphlet uh, that's decorated with, like, really cheesy sword and, like, um, little cartoon stick figure, like, fighters. And it says, join the Black Guild. Um, contact your local recruiter, Gaffel Wildenbrock, at your address. That's the one. This is That's the guy. The, this is the guy. That's exactly the guy we're looking for. No way. That little cheeky little kid. I thought he was five years old when he first bought it here. I think he is. Don't deal with too many halflings. Well, no, um, don't. he tried to recruit me for pretty much the entire ride out this way. Thank God it was a crowded carriage. They almost kicked him off, they did. Oh, it's so always he came out this way? Yeah, sure. I can't remember which city I dropped him off in. Um, but he said he was due out here a couple, couple weeks. How about you do us a favor and uh, remember quickly? Hunter of gold. Hunter of gold. <laughs> um, I've got to say it was Holith. I don't think I could have dealt with him all the way to Mitsko. That's two days travel, and I remember only wanting to kill him for one day. Oh boy, talk about convenience. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> They're going on. Let's uh -huh. drink to it, eh? Good, good, good. Good, good, All right, good. you guys share drinks with Mags, who continues to oh, take you a lovely woman. well into the city. Um, about a couple after hours after you talk to Mags, you notice uh, you're sort of coming into civilization, you see a few fishing huts uh, sort of crop up along the coast, and you see the humble village of Holleth. Not but half a mile down the road. Um, in the city, I call it city, in the village, as soon as you're dropped off, um, uh, there's a few moving crowds, but beyond the overwhelming reek of fish and alcohol off of most of the fishers' bodies, you hear a small boy, sorry, a small voice calling out, um, advertising the Black Guild. Bye, Mags. Reno? Hope to see you all again. She's already gone. Oh, well. Huh? I wanted to throw her at you. <laughs> okay, you can do yeah. this. Say you later, yeah. boys. As she loads up another, some more passengers to head back 
to Jaeger's board. I feel like I'm fairly tipsy at this point. Mm -hmm. Bye, goodbye, Mags. Very nice to meet you. She gives you guys a wink and gives a whip to the horse. All right. And she's off. And those horses are so lucky. Wow. <laughs> Gaffle. All right. Do I hear a little boy? Could you give a... Could you... Gaffle, could you give a convincing uh, sell? A, a convincing pitch to join the Black Guild? Uh, hey guys, um, does anyone want to join the Black Guild? Uh, we're recruiting. Uh, real persuasion? Uh... Uh, my character is not set up at all. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here. No, what's, <laughs> why did that go directly to you? It's okay. Because I, I did a thing at the top of your character sheet. I'll explain it later. Oh, uh, okay. Is that on purpose? No, it's it's just you guys have options to whisper roles to me. Oh, uh, I kind of yeah. like that. I, I think that's cool. I, I'm going to try and use that later. Yeah, I really like that. All right, um, well, um, per usual, you're not really getting many people. In fact, over the entire course of doing this for about eight months, you've only ever recruited 12 people. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> giving you some signing bonuses, which is nice. Yeah. And helped keep the rent afloat with your um, alcoholic and brutally bruised roommate. Um, speaking of roommate, um, there's a passing, there's a clearing between the people, and the Black Fang lays eyes on an old companion that he hasn't seen in a year, and a roommate locks eyes with his roommate that he hasn't seen in what feels like a year. I think he's over there. Gaffo! Gaffo! Oh, hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Gaffo, I knew I would, I knew I would find you You need to pay rent, Gaffo. My, my friends I always come back. Gaffo, <laughs> you need to hand over rent. I don't have rent. What do you mean you do not have rent? Have you recruited anyone in the guild? Yeah, I've recruited 12 people. Yeah, hold up, oh, hold up. We need to pay yeah, rent. Yeah, a lot of we people, need to pay I rent. know. Hey. You know what I need to do is I need to recruit more people. Do you remember and since how much you're here, was? you can you might as well help me. Uh, uh, no. How, how much, much was rent? I'll trust. I trust you. So whatever, whatever, however much you say. This is a common it's interaction gold. that happens it's between gold. the two of them. <laughs> Every month, this happens. On the end of the <laughs> it's six gold. <laughs> Hand over your half now. Give it to me. Okay. I'll pay it off. Here, I'll give you six gold. Not too bad for rent. You need more to maybe get a shave or a haircut? You look, you yeah, don't look so do good. Not fucking come at me like that, please. <laughs> you, you've, you've done a rat this morning. That's gross. Oh. You've done a rat? Yeah. Yeah, it's because um, we didn't want to lay traps in our house. Hey, do you want some scotch, Gaffo? We, we Where even is the bottle? Where is um, even no, where is he? Where I don't is drink. Where is their fucking house? It's in Jägenport. That is where it is. Do you what? remember? I know where our house is. Of course you don't remember. Okay, Gaffle. I care a lot about you. Gaffle. <laughs> how long have you been in, uh, how long have you been in Holland? Um, um like a little a over a week. Oh, well, like a little over a week. <laughs> Do you know someone named Cod Billingsley? Uh, I certainly don't. <laughs> Wondering. Wait, wait, did Gaffle have a, six gold a, on him? I have 53 gold on me. According uh, to well, our wealth situations have changed since we last oh, okay. played. Um, I will say that since you are a working man, there's a chance for you to have some gold. You have okay. two gold. Seven silver. and nine copper pieces on you right now. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have six gold, but boy howdy, if you find me uh, somewhere to work, actually, I'll find myself somewhere to work. I'll get on that. I gotta get this six gold for you. <laughs> you can hang, You can hand over the two right now. Okay. Thank you. 
Hey, no problem, man. We go way back, you and I. Yes, we do. I mean, we live together, so. Anyway, uh, we're getting a team together to uh, do a uh, ex uh, sort of a, uh, a thing. Uh, a uh, recruitment expo? A black, yes. black no, thing will, will describe it for you. <laughs> You're going to love this, Gapel. Trust me. Okay, I love everything. I got a, I got an art heist lined up for us. Oh, I don't like that at all. Well, well, why don't you try and be a little more optimistic, okay? This is going to bring us in boatloads of gold. Okay? Well, I'm not being pessimistic. I just... Yeah, I mean, we're going to steal? or stealing from someone? Well, I mean, we're, we're stealing art, okay? This is someone who deserves to get stolen from, okay? Why do they deserve to get stolen from? Some rich asshole probably. I don't know. Well, what if they earned, what if they worked really hard to get that wealth? Listen, if you own, go, if you own art that's expensive enough to be stolen, then you earned it dishonestly, okay? Let's uh, Steve, be real. would I still have this talking stone? <laughs> yeah. Okay, hell yeah. I forgot about that. Who has the other one? Miles, Me. I think. Miles. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> Much to my chagrin. Wait, 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 wait. Well, so Smiles, um, as you don't know it, has not had it for a long time, and you will occasionally just get random curse words that will just come through the stone every once in a while. Oh. <laughs> I assume that it... Oh, oh shit. Wait, what the fuck? Ah, fuck. Wait, no, I don't want to make that decision for Smiles. Smiles. Oh, whoops. What are the odds you've held on to that stone? Because the only thing you said you got rid of was what you messaged me about. I can't imagine I would have thrown it away. And I don't know how much worth it would have on the market, considering it's already connected to someone else. So I guess I, I probably would have kept it. I don't know want to it. say that I gave some sort of limit on the range? Did anyone write anything about it down? Uh, no. All I have is that it is in my inventory. I do remember the limitations being one word per hour. Yeah, I, I know it was one word per hour. I don't know if there was a range limitation. How's this? I'll figure uh, that out later. Okay. I also imagine that Gapple yeah, probably hasn't contacted me that much. No, every hour on the hour I say hi into the stone. And you never say anything um, back. Just to say real quick, I'm probably not going to stay up much past 10 because I do have to... I, I def early. that. Totally, totally fine. Totally yeah. fine. All right. Um, hmm. Not that that's a plot hole, but it's something I didn't consider. Um... Ah, it doesn't auto roll advantage or disadvantage anymore. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to just. Okay. I'm gonna roll a d20. I'm gonna see if Smiles lost it or not. I think it's more likely than not, based on Smiles' backstory, that he'll get to at some point that Apollo has lost it. So, if it is a 14 or sorry, 15 or higher, he has it. If it's a 14 or lower, he lost it. Okay. No. no! Sorry. I think that's really cool, but I didn't think about it. That's so I'm cool. punishing you. <laughs> Honestly, fair enough. Okay. Um. Alright, if you guys want to say any more last words before you move, I guess. I'll just fill in uh, Gaffle what I told uh, <coughs> uh, what's his face, Benoit, about the art heist and the guy I'm looking for in town and all that stuff. Okay. Um, if you guys want to do that in chat, we will cut back to the folks aboard the Ursa Sailor. <clears throat> um, Vanzo, you've just ordered Apollo to be locked up in the um, <laughs> in the Bot and bottom yes. of the ship. I'd also like to know where my stuff is. <clears throat> well, if only <clears throat> someone would know that. The quartermaster says. I'm sure more than you're not the only one. Bobby uh, is the Bobby is your quartermaster. He's kind of your second in command. Okay. Uh, after your first mate, um, but he's drunk and puking off the back of the ship. So your quartermaster, Bobby says. Oi, sir. Uh. Well, back when we had G's prisoner, 
Um, we kept your belongings in the safe in the captain's quarters, which all belongs to you now. Great. Uh, um, what's the combination? Um, here's a key. Uh, here. And he kind of fumbles over with the captain's dead body. It's like, ah, uh, here. Thank you. Um, one sort of pressing matter that, uh, one of me boys just let me know about. Um, not sure if any, if, I think one of your, uh, magic hand tricks, uh, put a pretty sizable hole in the bottom of, uh, the hull from earlier. Also, he killed one of the men, but, you know, bygones be bygones, you're captain now. Yeah. Does anyone know how to repair that? Mm, not while the ship is in motion. We're gonna need to go into dock, sir. Alright, is there anywhere near here? Um, Captain half has made sure he had paid off dock workers in most of the fishing villages to the east of Jagen's part. Um, it's been a while since we've seen land, but I reckon we're probably close enough to Mitsko or Holith. One of those two ought to do. Alright, well, whatever we're closest to, let's set... Let's go there. And let's pray to Stevie Jones that our boat don't sink <laughs> in the meantime. Um, All right. First mate, Jaundice is still puking off the back. Um, <laughs> you, as captain, still approve of him? I don't know if you've even met him yet. I know, I've, I've never met this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, here, he kind of points, and you see, like, this, like, extremely, uh, fat dwarf sort of hunched over the side who kind of waves at you, vomit dripping from his mouth. And he's the best we got. <laughs> he's your first mate, sir, yes. All right. Well, um, yeah, let's, Well, uh... as captain, it's, uh, well, the reason I'm saying this, sir, um, is because I know you got this strong fella right here. He kind of says quieter. He's like, I think he'd do more to inspire the men. Um, see, we're kind of used to calling ourselves the sea bears, and I don't want to talk about the M word yet, but the men already know you as kind of small and puny. So mm -hmm. maybe it'd be good to have a first mate who's more like, you know, a bear and not a cub. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, we'll, I'm, I'll gladly replace him with uh, Wazgrub. Okay. Do um, you want to tell the men, or should I? I'll tell them. Okay. Uh, go ahead, sir. Alright, listen up, everyone. Uh, Jaundice uh, is, uh, <laughs> isn't feeling too well, and, you know, you know how he is, I'm sure. Yeah, we do. Yeah, our new first mate, or my new first mate, will be Wazgrub here. Congratulations, woo! Wazgrub. Yeah, woo, Wazgrub. Woo. Okay. All right, that is all. Let's get to land as soon as possible. Obviously, we got a hole. We're <laughs> not doing so great. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, Apollo is in the cell, so we got that problem taken care of. <laughs> Who's Apollo? Uh, he was the, uh, the guy in the dress. With the beads. Is that the advisor? Yeah, he's not an advisor anymore. <laughs> he's, uh, actually... I, I would, uh, keep your distance. He's not to be trusted. Aye, aye, Captain. And, uh... Neighbors. Yeah. All right. Okay. You also, the... I'll take a sip of that thing. Okay. Um, you taste one of the most vile and disgusting drinks you've ever tasted in your life, and you almost feel like there's food particles washing around in it. <laughs> Jeez. Take a Constitution saving throw. Um. You, it takes everything in your power to... Well, actually, you begin to vomit, although nothing comes out. <laughs> Maybe some stuffing. Yeah. Some dry heaving. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, see. Whew. 
been out here for a while. <laughs> um, is that a shot of brandy you're just taking? Yeah, you know, I like to party. <laughs> yeah, sea bears. Sea bears, yeah. Sea bears. Water scrub. Sea bears. Okay, um, so back to the friends in Holleth. Barkeep, and I would like to order uh, a, a nice, uh, a nice uh, whatever this piece of gold can get me, all right? Please? No? The barkeep in this f reeking of fish in um, doesn't even have a name on the top. Eyes you at the bar. Is no. that a gold piece? This is a gold piece, yes. What can this Boy, you mean? must be stupider than half of the men who spend their days fishing. Put All that right. away. Relax. Relax? Three of the guys at this bar just saw that and are probably going to try and fight you later once they're five drinks in. I would like to give. Uh, I, 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 I would like to serve them five. Huh. All right. Well, listen, you got anything smaller? What do you want to drink? Do I have anything smaller? Uh, you don't have anything smaller. I, I have some silver I can uh, You have some I can silver? What, the, what kind of type of silver? I could probably um, please you and your mother for a silver. All right, hand it over. I'll get you set up. <laughs> he reaches okay. beneath and... You hear sort of the clanking of a safe, and he pulls out a very nice bottle of what looks like a dark liquor. Everyone at the bar is kind of like, <laughs> wow. They almost look impressed. Hmm. Good What's job, that? little boy. You, you what is this? Good. Everyone likes us. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Boy, we are, we are certainly targets now, but... Hey, would, uh, would you guys uh, at the bar, would you like to. some of this? I'm not going to drink no, all this. No, I mean, let's not, let's not share. No. No, no. Why not? No. These guys seem like they could, they're they, thirsty. They, they could use some. He like pulls out um, three shot glasses. On the, on the yeah, or, uh, like, Benoit, Benoit. This, is the last, this is the last bottle Benoit, do of, you bet? Do you of the Blue him? Sage's rum. They say oh, this, wow. this particular bottle is probably a good over 12 years old, but it was a local favorite until that island became overrun with some savages. Benoit. This is the last remaining bottle. So, new friend, and he no. pours all three glasses, and acquaintances, welcome to Holleth. Drink up. Thank, Thank you, sir. I've, been here for, I've actually been here a week and a half. I drink it, and I don't even, like, try to savor it. I just don't. Then what? Then what? Do you want to... A week? Do you, think those, do you think those guys would want to challenge you to, like, a pop? Do you want to see if you can, like, win some money against them? Because they seem like they maybe want to, you know, they're not taking kindly to us. I might be kind of fun. Who is not taking kindly to me? Answer me! Which oh, one wow. are you? <laughs> oh, dear. One guy in the very back. Everybody else just looks like, oh, this fucking guy. But one guy in the very back, as he speaks, you can almost smell the foul ale that coats his throat. <laughs> I will challenge you. You sound like, uh, you, you smell like a sewer. And I will take And you talk <laughs> like a fucking pansy. A paunchy elf, standing at about 6'5", stumbles his way from the dark corner. He's got a scar under his left eye. Ah, uh, a challenger. Interesting. Oh, very nice. Okay. Give me you're, gonna see you're gonna see who can out drink each other. Is that the is that the challenge here? That sounds like a perfect challenge. I right. school you in that any day. You'll screw, you'll you'll do what to me? You'll screw me any day. All right. Well, I'll tell you, we need another oh. shot glass. I may take you up on that offer eventually. Oh, you really want to challenge him to a drink off? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll challenge you to a drink off. Yes, sir. All right. Loser this, pays the tab. With this 12-year-old, like, ancient rum that's just like... <laughs> Loser pays the tab. Just so you know, this bottle sits at a hefty two and a half gold. 
And I'm pretty sure I'm lowballing it here, but frankly, I want to see the new guy pass out. Let's make and, it uh, five gold. Wait, if that bottle is worth two gold, then how come when we came in here and we said we had gold, you said uh, you didn't have anything for us? The bartender gives you a harsh look. I'm sorry, sir. He slams the bottle on the table, puts out two shot glasses. Gentlemen, do we have a deal? You're not the waiter. The paunchy elf takes a seat. He's like, well, you know me too well. Shakes him in the hand. Or shakes uh, his hand. I'll, I, um, Benoit, do you, do you have enough money to put that up? Two and a half? Of course I do not. All right. I'll put up, I'll put up <laughs> his bet for him. I'll do, I'll do two and a half gold pieces and then... Then, uh, the what's his the barkeep the barkeep holds on to both wagers and looks at you, Black Fang, and says, "Friends like you are short-lived and rare in these parts. I hope you learn your lesson tonight. Drink up, <laughs> gentlemen. First shot, Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Don't fail me now, Benoit." <laughs> <laughs> Slam it back, no problem, from both of you. Bartender pours the next two shots. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Already deep into his cups, the challenger sort of tries to sort of stifle back, but you know that he's feeling that one. Bartender pours the next two shots. Bottle's about halfway empty. Constitution saving throw. You're both feeling this one. You reel back as you begin to sort of... The room, to say it's spinning around you is an understatement. You are starting to feel the full effects of this ancient rum. Another shot is poured. You're about three quarters of the way through the bottle. Constitution saving throw. You both are really not having it. The paunchy elf. If you didn't know better, you thought he would be vomiting in his m mouth right now. He takes a second before he picks up the next glass. Looks at the bartender and says, This strong... He's not able to form a coherent sentence, but he's able to move his hands. He picks up the last shot. The bartender is down to just the last few drops. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He gets his second wind and bounces this one back, no problem. You both are teetering on the edge of passing out. Bartender mixes the last two shots with another cheap bottle of rum that they seem to label The Undertaker on the, uh, with like black lettering. Constitution saving throw. Concerning. Oh. Woo! What, you were rooting against me? Hey, who lost me my job? My first job. Yeah, well, the challenger. Natural did you roll? Yeah, it was like two or three. That was cool. The challenger slams back one, and he's leaning forward, and just as everyone thinks he's about to fall, like a weeble, he gets right back up. <laughs> Flexes his muscles to the cheers of everyone else. And as you are all staring in amazement as this man, as this uh, old guy has surpassed Benoit, you didn't even notice that he had fallen to the floor and is now snoring extremely loud, wow, choking back vomit. Like, this is just like Indiana Jones. <laughs> the challenger spouts <laughs> as he sort of just spits on Benoit and then looks up to Blackfang and says, 
Welcome to our house. Well, well put, my good friend. <laughs> Call me Paul. Paul? <clears throat> He's starting to look like with a wolf of Wall Street when the lewds kick in. <laughs> and he falls over. Bartender um, says, That's not really a draw, as um, first guy did fall first. Well, I'll pay him his due in the morning when Cod wakes up. All right, everybody. Last rounds will be coming out in about an hour. Get your drinks in. At that moment... Someone from uh, sitting near a window seat sort of announces to the room, Hey, 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 look, the sea bears are in. Sea bears. Um, Benoit, though you are pretty much unconscious, um, roll perception with disadvantage. You recognize that name. You have just enough consciousness to lift up and say three words. One more drink. <laughs> Back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, cool. laughs> okay. Um, one last thing, just to address uh, smiles. Um, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Did anything happen while I was gone? I just went to the back. Uh, we watched India. So, uh, you guys, just fill him in. I'm gonna be with, like, one minute with smiles. Like, oh, you, know this, you know the scene where Marion is, like, doing the competition with the guy? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, is that what you guys did? The guy was Tyler, and Mary was Tyler. <laughs> <an old> <laughs> Valiant fight. Even the mighty must fall. Don't worry about it, that's a brown boy. Is this actual music from Pirates of the Caribbean? I don't know. Kind of sounds like it a little bit, at least the song. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean music and ambiance. I think. Maybe not all of it. Yeah, I'd say. I don't know. There's been a lot of movies, so there's probably a lot of stuff they could take. Yeah. I did. I found one, like Harry Potter one, and I just never noticed. It was like. So, like, a lot of them are just, like, the same song on repeat, which is kind of lame. Yeah. Especially since there's fucking, like, nine movies. 
This song for some reason sounds familiar. Is I movies a what? Or what? Uh, eight. Oh. Oh yeah, oh, they do have unless them. you count the Fantastic Beasts. I don't. If you count the Fantastic Beasts movies, there's, there's like ten. Dude, I wish she released a book for those instead of just the fucking screenplay. Ugh. I, I have I... no interest. They're making another one. I, the movies look terrible because they won't. They keep just giving. The first one was really boring. I thought the first one was like deep. fine, but the second one looked really bad, which is a shame because I, I like Jude Law. Jude Law. Yeah, he was pretty good casting. And I, that's like reading the books for the first time. I was like, damn, I really wish I could see like young Dumbledore. But I don't want to watch those movies. Why not? They look bad. And also, they replay. Apparently, like, what? Colin Farrell is like the villain in the first one, but then he like does a spell, and it's actually Johnny yeah. Depp. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of a downgrade, in my opinion. Wait, they switch actors? Like, just well, in the middle? it's like Johnny, Johnny Depp's character was in disguise as like Colin Farrell. Oh. But like. I kind of I think Colin Farrell's a much better actor to be honest. And the first movie is about like a squib who's like a I don't know he like blows up. Yeah, I don't really remember much. It's not even like all that much about Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, I just I don't know. The whole appeal is like the characters the and them growing up, and when you take that away, who's the guy just... who plays um, Finch or whatever? What's his name? Uh, Eddie, Eddie Redmayne. Redmayne. Eddie Redmayne. And, uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, what's his character's name though? It's like oh, no, oh no. Uh, Scal Newt, Newt, Scal Newt, Newt Commander. Newt Commander. Newt Commander. <laughs> Such a lame uh, name. Hey, you're lame. Okay, just so we can wrap up. Um. Uh, so, Vanzo, from your perspective, and your first mate, who stands happily at your side. After about six hours travel, your quartermaster deemed that Holleth, the local fishing village near Jagensport, which you want to steer mm -hmm. very clear from, would be wisest, as the ship can likely not take on much more water, yeah. and your captive below is probably drowning right now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'll check on him. I don't want him to die. Okay. Well, you're just about to dock. Um... And do you go down there to check on him? Yeah. Okay. Um, the trap door opens. Um, Apollo, you are swimming in about four <laughs> feet of water. Do you do anything as a reaction when the hatch opens? Uh, not yet. Okay, so you're just dog paddling? Yeah, I'll swim to the trap door. Okay. Hey! Let me up! You notice his manacles are off. I'll let you up. If you promise to behave. Uh, don't I'll betray us. I didn't betray you before. You kinda did. I offered you guys an out. No, you offered us a uh, sort of a confusing out that didn't really work. <laughs> hey, but what was that one word in that sentence you just said? An out. Not really, though. And then when we were, you still almost sabotaged us in the duel. Well, well, he he lost the duel. I just didn't think he had to die. No, do you realize he would have lost the duel if he lived? You understand? Do you understand? That's how a duel works. He has to die. Well, I think he would have. And he agreed with that. He probably would have been upset with you. Well, that's for me to deal with. Well, Rolling anchors! You hear if called from above. Well, look it's at that. that you, um, You're not going to so drown anymore. About pirates living, but not about small children being murdered yeah. by... Yeah. Or your friends. Or your friends. Would you have saved me if I was about to die? Yeah, probably. No, we would have stripped your body. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> if you were perfectly healthy and sleeping, we'd probably cut your throat and root your gold. Alright, do you promise? Do you promise to, uh... Be loyal to us. I promise I won't friggin' maim you. you no. Do you promise to be loyal to us? 
completely. I promise I won't be mean to you. No, guys. Can you just <laughs> fucking say it? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave you here. You won't drown, but you're gonna stay here. Does Vanja leave? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm I'm feeling petty right now. Whatever, I'll leave. All right, I'll cast Mage Hand and just open the trap door. Okay, it opens well behind him, and you can climb out. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I turn around. <laughs> I, you know... I, I, I motion to two guards to hold him. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, right. Calm down. No! You just... <laughs> <laughs> Me calm down? What is wrong with you? Why can't you just be on our side? You guys cost me my job! What job? <laughs> I had a great gig going on! <laughs> Tyler, did you record oh, that? Yeah. That'd be a good little line. <laughs> well, we were about to die, alright? He had something I needed. Yeah, I bet. How'd yeah. You... How'd that go down? Well, actually pretty well. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> and you're my prisoner. Not until I friggin' <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't kill you, but <laughs> Can you yeah, just you play were... ball for once? You're so slimy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're fine, you're not leaving the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I offered you I offered my hand and you slapped it away. I offered you friendship, and you spat in my eye. You didn't offer me friendship. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably uh, quoting something. I was quoting the Green Goblin. Yeah. The quartermaster sort of leans down and says, uh, Captain, are you looking to make land uh, when we go up there? It's probably best that you strike up a deal with uh, the ship workers, as uh, you're a new yeah, guy. Absolutely, yeah. We should definitely get that hole fixed. Good. It'll uh, legitimize your claim to the sea bears, uh, right. sea bear pirates. Sounds good. All right. So he sort of ushers you down off the dock uh, to talk with some dock workers who are sort of negotiating for some gold. Um, talk back inside of the inn or the the bar. Uh, Gaffle and Blackfang. Is there anything you did in response? Um, are you gonna try and move Benoit, or just let him sleep it off on the floor? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt him up, and I'm gonna say, uh, "Barkeep, do you have any water? My friend, uh, he's a, he drank a bit too much. <laughs> drank a bit too much. I eh? passes you down a, a flask of water. Yeah, he's much there. How much for a bed in this place? Um, this is a bar. We don't really hole up travelers. Uh, most local people will keep travelers, um, for, you know, a silver or two. Anybody got an extra bed tonight? And a few hands sort of go up. Um, one man who's sort of lifting up, a uh, cod off the ground says, Um, we've got... We've got a couple extra beds in our in our house. <clears throat> My wife is used to housing cod. Uh, if you just toss us a few coppers for the breakfast, we'll we'll house you. Cod as in the fish? Hmm. Or cod as in a person? He looks down at the drunken, paunchy elf below him. Cod, yeah, that's cod. Oh, cod. Yes. Okay. All right. I, I followed. Yes. All right. Uh, can one of you guys grab his legs and come with me? No, I'll grab his. I'm kind of down by the docks. Uh, it's kind of noisy, but to me, you get used to the waves. Get on there. Oh, Gaffle, do you try and yeah, I... manage uh, Benoit? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll carry Benoit. 
I'll okay. Let. Gaffle yeah, will try just... and get Cod's feet. Yeah. <laughs> As you carry these unconscious bodies uh, <laughs> down, there's a woman standing on a porch of one of the rather large fishing huts and goes, Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, no, oh, not this stinky. And who are these? Oh, I cannot believe you. And just storms back into the house. The man carrying the body goes, eh, she warms up to it. It's, it's okay. Is that your, uh, your wife? Um, I guess. All right, come on. And you sort of carries you in. Um, Wazgrub. Roll ah. perception. That's weird. Boy. This is the first time you've seen a child in this village, and he's pretty close to the docks. Uh, taking a lesson from Apollo, I will not engage in any children. <laughs> and, hey, that's it's okay because we don't have to rely on rolls here um after you've agreed to some random amount of gold uh vanzo which you're not even sure is enough or if you have enough because you just became captain um you look back and in astonishment you lay your eyes on a vomiting benoit who has fallen down the steps at this little hut, uh, and the Black Fang is standing there trying to figure out how to haul him up. Vanzo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see him? Oh, sorry. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You see Benoit vomiting at the steps oh, of a hut. I you talking about talking to Wasgrub. And the, no, and the, the Black Fang is standing there watching. Hey! Huh? Banzo? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how how are you guys? I I I saw you ripped apart. Yeah, it's, that's a. I'll explain some other time, but uh, explain some other time. You were dead. Well, Ashgrub, you've walked up now. You fall behind. You what? You want that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a pirate captain now. <laughs> and I'm his first mate. Yep. Uh, Pop is oh. here. He's our prisoner. Don't worry. Uh, you know, I probably about time one arrested him, finally put him in iron. Yeah, he uh, tried to sabotage us. I'm not surprised. Many times. <laughs> I don't think it was on purpose, though. Yeah, but, you know, You're better safe than sorry. I mean, at this rate, it can't all be on an accident, right? Yeah, he's That's got something up his sleeve. <laughs> anyway, well... How are you guys doing? We're okay. I mean, Benoit has passed out cold here. He lost a drinking bet. And, well, I lost a drinking bet, really. Where'd all those other guys you were with go? That's a good question. They're separate ways. I decided I need to do some soul searching of my own, you know? Yeah, it's probably good you lost them. Yeah, they were... Uh, well, we won't, we won't come out there on that more. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well. But hey, this guy uh, who's passed out here, his name is Kai. believe he might have something for us. If you guys are interested. Yeah. Like what? A job. I don't need a job. I just need tea. I'd love a job. Also, I have a whole pyre crew that can help us out. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of pirates. Well, get used to it, kiddo. Oh, look, there's another child. That's the second kid. I'm not a child. I'm, I'm a now, you remember him, man. Wazgrub. You've met him. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I get confused. It's I'm okay, grown, well, hey, I'm an adult. How are you doing, Gaffle? Why are you so quiet? You alright? What do you mean? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> um, it's just, I mean, it's getting pretty late. I'm just getting so you know, tired. 
Scaffold recruited 12 people to the guild. Wow. Good job. I forgot really about know. the guild, to be honest. <laughs> How could you forget really about the, the guild? That was our it. life's goal, man. That was all we did. That was what we were, we were in it for. That was like two weeks. <laughs> Smiles, are you working on the thing I just whispered you? That's the last thing I want to do before I sort of end this yes, session. Yes, let me, let me okay. try and figure this out. Okay. How's, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guild guy. Cavnir? Oh, Cavnir, how's he doing? He wasn't um, in a, such a good mood last time I saw him. He's sitting pretty on Caliente, enjoying retirement. That's he's good. Been, he deserves it. Yeah, he went it. through therapy. He's doing, he's doing really good mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I was worried about him. Yeah, him and I are really good friends still, though. We're good best friends. That's good. How about you, Benoit? Are you, <laughs> how are you feeling? Uh, he's, um, you know, he's fine. You want some chicken, Banzo? I'd love some. <laughs> Maybe some ribs for old times oh, sake. Oh, you are speaking my language. Hey, man. Yeah, I would fine. love some ribs. Let's all oh, have that's some ribs, great. huh? You guys did label yourselves the Knight of the Rib Table. I oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that title. <laughs> I'll give a rib to Apollo, too. Nom, 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 nom. A single rib. Oh, can I have a rib? So Apollo, just can. imagine that's the rib of one of the children. Apollo's there. still on the <laughs> ship. <laughs> I know, I'll save one. I'll box one up. Yeah. All right, well, as you guys all share a hearty chuckle. Aw, and some ribs. Yeah. <laughs> There's a scream to your left as the house next door to you uh, catches on fire. Hey, Apollo, you want to go try and make that situation worse? Apollo's not there. Apollo's not there. Oh, shit. But funny you should say that. Because around the corner, dressed in weird robes but retaining the same eye makeup, you spot a familiar former cleric. Is it Apollo? Apollo? Alright, one sec. Uh, howdy. Apollo, you make eye contact with everybody. Howdy! Apollo! What? Howdy! Howdy! Oh, what are you oh doing? god. I eat the rib, but... Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Apollo, did you set that house on fire? I ate the rib. I... Of course I didn't. What do you mean, of course you didn't? Don't act like that's out of character. Is there, is there other people in that house? I, I don't know. I, I didn't what like are you it. doing? Apollo, is that, <laughs> is that a house full of babies that you just set on fire? I certainly hope not. I, I would like to... Uh, did you just set this house on fire? Is there a way I can <laughs> And we're go. gonna cut... We're gonna stop there. <laughs> <laughs> you broke free and set this on fire. <laughs> oh, we're gonna stop there. Jesus Christ, we did it. <laughs> hey, I didn't do anything, bitch. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Finally, uh, dying every time you said that. I didn't no. do anything, bitch. You did. Put your pants on, bitch. Um, so, real quick, while everybody's here, uh, next week, I'm unavailable on that Thursday night. Would Wednesday night be an acceptable substitute? That'd be that good might, for me. Yeah, that'd uh, probably be pretty, pretty Gucci. Would it would have to be a Thursday. bit later for me, uh, because my last final is 5 to 7 p.m. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm um, cool. I'm super cool with Wednesday. I would just really prefer Wednesday over waiting two weeks. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I definitely want all to right. play more. This is, yeah, this is um, me too. All free on Wednesday. I, I right. think cool. you and I, Greg, <laughs> yeah? you need you need to be my brains because otherwise I'll just start hacking people. I that. think you two have a very good dynamic. <laughs> yeah, I think we actually did have a good dynamic going on. <laughs> Room for a. I do love I the can't. current dynamic between the three of us. I think it's pretty funny. I can't Thank be you. left to my own devices, Greg. I think that that's beautiful. I like it's just funny how like everyone is back together and they know that they want to be together except apollo he's the only one who there's not an express agreement of yeah you're back in dude <laughs> i love just everyone kidding. but apollo yeah, we're still on the fence about apollo 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot how much I missed Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> these these all